Hello, today we're gonna see how to make a glass effect. So like having a bar of glass going through your screen like this. So I have this random video that I found online and it's quite slow. So like it's like a drone shot. It's beautiful of uh, mountains but it's very slow so i'm gonna first uh, make it faster that has nothing to do with the thing you don't have to do that of course um but the first thing you are gonna want to do is duplicate your clip so just copy and paste it and you can hide your bottom layer because it will be easy easier to see what you're doing so the first thing you're gonna do is add an alpha shapes be careful that shape alpha and alpha shapes you need alpha shapes it's gonna make a rectangle, um, you're gonna make a bar that's the size that you want. So Y is the vertical axis. So I'm gonna make it widen Y and maybe some inclination. So with the tilt you can do that and maybe a bit wider. Like this. You can change the transition as, as, uh, as well. Uh, I like it with a little bit of something. Then you're gonna add some brightness. So just take the normal brightness one and you can make it a bit lower because when you look for glass, usually it's darker. Then we're gonna also add some blur because that's kind of the main thing. Um, so I noticed that blur was now deprecated, so we're gonna use Gaussian blur. Uh, it doesn't work the same, but like it just it goes very fast. So like, don't put a too high a value, like ten. It looks good for this, I guess. And the last thing is a transform effect, because you might know that the refraction index of glass isn't the same as air, so it would be different. So like, I like to zoom in a little, maybe one hundred and fifteen. Yeah, and now if I show again the other track under, it's gonna appear like there's a bar of glass going through. You could make the same with a circle or something if you're if you're into that, because you make you can make a circle with the um, alpha shapes like this. It looks weird well now. Let's keep a rectangle. Um, so you want it to go through. So we're gonna change the position in X. So. At the first keyframe, we're gonna go the maximum to the left, last keyframe, maximum to the right. You can, of course, do it differently. I'm just gonna change that one to smooth, and I'm gonna add a few keyframes in the middle to make it go faster at the beginning and the end. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty cool, I like it like this. I guess that's all of it. That's all there is. You can make different shapes with rotoscoping also if you want. And you can use this kind of method for a lot of lots of things. Like you can put a blurry bar on a logo or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, I hope you like it. As always, there's a request form in the description. Right now it's starting to be pretty long, so it might be a while before I get to use. And yes, see you next week. Bye-bye.